Hello again everyone, this is Jordan from Robotis bringing you some more basics on R Plus Task 2.0. Today we will transition from our uh, dream kits to uh, bringing to another uh, uh, aspect of programming with R Plus Task, which in this episode we will be emphasizing our core technology, which is Dynamixel Smart Actuators. This is what, uh, these are our smart integrated uh, uh, modular device that you can use for several applications. Um, we have several Dynamixels for different kinds of uh, uh, projects that you may have. Uh, in this episode, I'll cover just the main uh, basics of what you will be able to do in or what you can do in R Plus Task. Uh, also, I'll, I will be showing you uh, our Emmanuel website to to give you some more specs on uh, one of the Dynamics. And uh, also we will be showing how to program this uh, one of these Dynamixels with the uh, uh, R plus task in a certain application. So uh, what I have already done is I wrote a program for you all and it uh, demonstrates uh, two major components of the Dynamixel. Uh, first is the LED. It has, as any other LED, we can use this as a status. But uh, what I also did is I created a uh, Dynamixel position uh, uh, function, which uh, changes the horn orientation of the Dynamixel itself. And if you don't know, uh, uh, what I mean by horn is is that there's the wheel on the front of the Dynamixel that you can that changes the, the direction of a piece or joint or actually causes your uh, device to move. So um, let's go into this uh, portion a little bit. Uh, what I did is, uh, what you do to program a, uh, a Dynamixel is, is that in the Dynamixel device, there uh, are several components or, or lists which kind of Dynamixel you can use. So, uh, in this series, which is the AX, I have selected a uh, goal position. Um, in the previous, in the LED section, there's the LED uh, uh, function, and what this is doing is that it's addressing in a uh, specific uh, address. So if you uh, select each one, you'll see that there's different addresses for this Dynamixel ID. And uh, if you need, and and as I stated earlier, uh, I'll be showing you a control table that that the Dynamixel that I'm using uh, lists all the information for. And uh, what I would suggest for you is to go through the same control table, look at each at, uh, item that's listed there. Uh, I will not be able to go through everything because there's so much data, but I would like for you to uh, do so, so that you can become more familiar of what you could do with these Dynamixels. So uh, yeah, uh, uh, for this one, we're just gonna select the goal position. And what's really neat about the goal position is that uh, you can select different angles in a GUI uh, environment. So what I did is uh, uh, I'm just gonna have it at 90 degrees. And uh, from 90 degrees or nine o'clock position, I'm going to change it at every three seconds to go to three o'clock position. So uh, so it's very easy uh, to do. If you wanna do a custom angle, you can drag and dra drag it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to go from nine to six, uh, nine to three position. But um, let me go back a little bit and uh, show you the others is that goal velocity as it's as you could guess is that this actually sets the uh, speed that the horn will actually move at and then goal torque is how what kind of torque you want the uh, steady you want the uh, uh, horn to actually move at so uh, there's different other aspects that you can do here um, so, uh, we're just going to focus on goal position, changing the position of the horn from one to the other. And uh, every, every second, I'm going to have the LED uh, blink. So after that second is done, it's going to go from nine to six and then go back. 
So uh, let us download this program and see what it does. So this is a basic setup that I have devised. Uh, there's the battery here. There, this is the CM530 controller, and this is a Dynamixel AX12 uh, series. Uh, one of our uh, Dynamixels that we that we provide in uh, two of our major educational kits, the STEM and the Premium. And uh, as you see here, there's two uh, ports that you can connect uh, uh, di other Dynamixels besides your controller, as you see here. And at the top, there's the LED, uh, which uh, we will be seeing in this uh, example. And then at the front, there's the horn. Uh, this is, of course, the main feature of the Dynamixel itself. And uh, the body itself is pretty uh, compact and uh, has a lot of uh, power behind it to give you uh, different capabilities. You can put different frames on here and, and different uh, orientations, all that. So uh, let's start the program. And start start it up. So you see here. There you go. Every second it changes. One second and it goes back. And as you see, it's actually starting from nine, goes to six then goes back to nine. So uh, it does exactly what I was uh, saying. Um, it goes from one position to another every uh, uh, after the second uh, uh, LED uh, uh, function. So uh, this is a basic program that you can do on your own. Please change it up. I've provided the link, a description in the link below. Um, but let's go now to a control table for this Dynamixel and see exactly uh, uh, what's going on and what other features can you do. As you see here, there are several products that you can select, but uh, on the left there's a little branch tree that you can select and what we're going to do now is go to the product information section and go to the actuators. Um, in Dynamixel, uh, there are several series here that you can select and as I said this this little device uh, has several components in it and we'll go over in the control table um, of what you can do with with this uh, with the particular one that we were using which is the AX series so let's select the AX and what we use is the AX 12 plus or a um, very few use the W, which is basically used for wheeled-based uh, applications. Um, advanced robotics may use an 18, AX uh, 18 series, but majority of them use a 12. So let's get into the 12. And uh, here it shows you all the basic specs that this Dynamixel has. Uh, but here is the control table that I was mentioning. So uh, first, is the ID. Uh, this is uh, specifically uh, a number that identifies each Dynamixel. So similar to uh, uh, parts in a car or even in uh, your own body, there are different parts that have different labels or uh, names for them and they have different functions uh, or specific uh, uh, capabilities that others don't. So uh, we actually uh, have a Dynamixel uh, ID system for you to call which one uh, of the Dynamixels you want to do what. So let me go back. So that's one of the major things that we, we identify. Um, the other one is the LED. And uh, as you see on uh, the address, uh, 25 that's the LED so if you go back a, f a few uh, minutes and go to that section that uh, when I was selecting the the LED or uh, gold torque or any of those on the address section or text uh, uh, box it actually changed from 30 to uh, 25 or something else and this is what it was referring to so you can actually say uh, uh, 25 and, uh, and 1 or 0. 
uh, here. So as you see, zero means off, or one means turn the LED on. So it's very easy to understand. So, um, and as you see here, goal position uh, just changes the different positions. And as you see, there's an invalid angle that you can't, that, that uh, this Dynamixel is unable to have, uh, uh, in angle at least, uh, mode. Uh, wheel mode, that it doesn't have any angles, of course, because in a wheel, uh, there are no angles, it just moves. Uh, so, um, and that also is uh, something that you can uh, change here. Yeah, so as I said, you can change it here on uh, uh, torque mode. So you can actually say if it's going to be a wheel or not. So as you can see, there's a lot of information that you can go through. I would like for you to uh, just become familiar at, with at least this control table. Um, see what kind of information you can pull out and, and what you can change in the program that are written uh, and see how you can make it faster, make it how powerful you want the Dynamixel to uh, uh, alternate from one angle to another and uh, so on and so forth. So um, until the next episode, have fun and stay creative.